Hello, Knife People. It's my new choice from Park River. Three Wee Frogs River in Tulip Wood. It makes a very good color contrast to this black and white ebony. What do you think? It's a pear knife, in my opinion. Husband and wife. Something like that. And uh, I think it's famous if you are a my subscriber that Three B Fox River always comes in a fat geometry, bevel transition right here. I can see it very clearly with my two eyeballs. But this single eyeball will not depict its line very clearly. But uh, to me, it's very clear. This line. Please uh, look the light reflection changes here and I hope you will see a subtle line here on the other side same I can see it yes clearly this line this side a bit lower. Hmm. Anyway, it has a further geometry than regular uh, Fox River. Yes. From here to here, nearly flat. And from here to here, acute convex. It's very similar to Falkniven F1 geometry, which I don't like. This is regular A2 Fox River. Please watch the light reflection. Pretty continuous. Anyway, hmm, it is what it is. And uh, I have two Falcon Even sheets. It's F1, it's TK1 or TK2. Similar in the pocket portion, different on the flap portion. Flap length is different. And uh, let's try with this new uh, 3V Fox River. 3V is in the F1 sheet, just right, as you can see it. This is TK1 sheet, 3V. F1, uh, 3V, Fox River, a bit loose, a bit. There is a reason. Just right. Um, handle, tail, thickness is different. Substantially. 
I hope you can see the difference. Thicker handle. So this portion takes longer loop. And nice width. And short length. And nice width. So for a three way Fox River, F1 sheet is better. And uh, regular. A2 Fox River TK2 sheet is better. And uh, I think these sheets are pretty cool, like uh, military gun holster. Not so pricey. Nearly the same as uh, Nab Ship Free uh, sheet. And shipping from Europe is more uh, acceptable, less pricey than from the US. So the total cost is the same, or this one can be a bit less compared to uh, importing the shield, leather shield from the US. So I will need some more pieces of these two uh, sheets. Anyway, mm, it must have a micro bevel. So let's see through the microscope. This is brand new 3V Fox River in a tulipwood handle. Microbevel is perfectly blended to the main bevel. Well done. Very well done. Please remember this angle. This is my sharpened three wheel arm. My sharpened edge has a bit deeper angle on its edge. Hmm, what do you think? I like my sharpened edge. Maybe better than this factory edge. Factory edge again. said zero one anyway its edge angle is larger than my standard so I will do what I have to do from now to make a convex level on the V bevel knife like removing the shoulder portion, this Chaucer 400 grit stone is very nice. But uh, for total reprofiling, it's too fine. So I purchased this Shapton 120 grit for bevel reprofiling. 
but uh, this one honestly total reprofiling is needed for me so this stone can be better but today I have a topic stone new stone this one to 20 grit uh, not Chosen. Animal Superstone to 20 grit. Mm, hollow bevel. Easy to reduce the shoulder. But convex bevel, if it had a micro bevel, much metal must be ground off. In that case, this will be good. And a uh, fat geometry case, it can be weak. 120 was faster, I confirmed. It's a very good steel to reprofile the fat geometry. It's nice, will be nice to reduce the shoulder on the convex bevel knife. It's nice to reduce the shoulder on the flat bevel or hollow bevel knife less metal to be ground 400 middle 120 400 just middle 220 and uh, today this reprofiling will be done on this coarsest stone but I put it away and I'll try out this Nanima Superstone for this job. How it performs, I'm much curious. So, let's start. Mm. Very smooth feel. Different from this coarse Sharpton stone. You can see the different sound. Coarse, rough, sandy. It is not very smooth like a finer grit stone. I'd like to see how it performs, how long it takes, how finely it does. I'm much curious how wear resistant it is. It is not so wear resistant. It took a bit concave with a single. Uh, usage. Hmm. I feel like this Naniwa Super Stone 220 grit is a harder stone than Sharpton. Of course harder than uh, Green Carbide. Green Carbide was the worst. Very fast wore out. So I now don't use the green covered stone at all. Anyway, I'll let you know later how long it took to reprofile the edge totally continuous. Mm. Please look at uh, this uh, midway condition. Grinding the mid portion it's right just right to make this bevel continuous this is the protruding portion I'd like to reduce this protrusion at first I pay attention not to use only the central portion but to use this side portion And reverse side like this. Then it will prevent the stone from concaving. Concave stone is no good to make uh, precise cutting. Flat is better. Angle change is sure by my hand on the flat surface. Anyway, nearly finishing. Overall feel on this stone 
The slurry is very nice and uh, sharpening feel is very nice. And sharpening speed, which took me 20 minutes to reprofile from this high line. And this scratch pattern is very beautiful, different from coarser stone. Finished. Total regrinding from a high line is finished. But uh, its grinding pattern is very fine and it can be difficult for you to see the starting line. Anyway. It's a nice stone to reach this stone to finish this sharpening Chosera 800 stone. It took me nearly one hour. 3V is a very hard stone. Unless I have these quality stones, Chosera and Nanya Super Stone, it would be impossible. Impossible. Anyway, it's my main sharpening stone. So, from the spine, like this, I hope you can see it. From the spine, like this, to the edge, like this. Intentionally change the angle, gradually, continuously. And this sharpening stone, I raise this final edge angle a bit, just a hair bit, to sharpen the edge, very edge, not only the bevel, but also the edge itself. Now I'm sharpening the edge, now I'm polishing the bevel, continuously, gradually changing, and this final angle is a bit larger than previous stones. It's my sharpening. Anyway, this 800 stone is very nice for edge making. Faster. And fine, very fine and fast. Chaucer 800 is very nice. As you can see it, bevel uh, polishing and edge. This is just edge and a bit raised angle edge sharpening. It's my way of high in line sharpening as always. It's fun to me, joy to me. This is relaxing. Not put much power. Polishing the bevel overall and uh, polishing the edge itself. This Chosera 3000 stone is very comfortable. This sharpening feel is superb, super excellent. Very smooth feel, soft feel, but taken on its surface, surely. Perfect sharpening feel, in my experience. Super strong. This edge does not shave the surface. Different from 5000 grit, I often did it on the 5000 shaving of the stone surface, no good. But 3000, it doesn't happen at all. Very smooth feel. You know, bevel, polishing, and raising the angle to polish the edge itself. Very nice stone. Anyway, I'm finishing.
Okay. This is the Naniwa. Three thousand finished bevel. Kind of mirror shining. This is the finished edge. Stropping was already done. I like this edge very, very much. Hmm? This is the center, just above the edge line. This is finished. This bevel is finished with this 3000 Chosra stone. Beautiful. This is the finish of Shapton, 2000 stone. Hmm. Hmm. Very difficult to, to show you the difference. Hmm. Very little. Anyway, not only for the beauty, but also in this 3V steel case, very hard steel case, before stropping, fine edge is needed, in my opinion. Stropping is not so strong against this hard steel. If it was A2, 2000 Chosera, Shapton was okay, but 3V before stropping 2000 is not very okay in my current opinion. This Chosera 3000 grit is a serious stone, very, very efficient cutter and fine finisher. Chaucer 3000. If you already had 2000 from my recommendation, previous recommendation for A2 tool steel, if you get a new 3V steel, you will need this 3000 stone. Maybe you will think the same way as I think. And uh, this Naniwa 220 grit coarse stone, it's a serious stone too. As you can see it, no concave at all. After finished this total high grinding, 220 Naniwa super stone. Serious and serious. Highly recommended for 3V Bark River owners. Anyway, thanks for watching for this long time and this boring repeated 
you know, it's very similar to the previous video. This video, water stone sharpening of 3B Fox River. But I had something to say in this video. These two stones, superiority, and, uh, and this sheath issue, this handle beauty issue, and uh, more precise, angle changing issue on my stone sharpening. I need to finish this stone sharpening is issue <laughs> at this uh, timing. Okay, thanks for watching. See you. Bye-bye.